we can find a way to get people to demand different choices, you know, businesses will cater to what the demand is. And I think you hit on it right there with that, with your, 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 what you were talking about there with charging stations. I, I, I don't know how, you know, it's, it's going to be a huge educational process though, to get people to kind of switch and realize that they need to demand something different and start making different choices. And it's difficult to do that because oftentimes the cleaner, healthier options are oftentimes more more expensive, unfortunately, yeah. um, for the average person than than the cheap solution, which is oftentimes bad for their health and the environment both. Yeah, um, and I mean that's of course true. And I think, um, look, I think um, on the good news side, you know, we now I, I don't imagine we're going to go back in uh, anytime soon where um we're just gonna go you know what who, who gives a damn about the climate right? right so so that's the good news is we now have awareness and so and we can pass that on um i i personally have a problem when awareness becomes panic and hysteria and results in mental health issues with kids then then we've gone too far but it's not going backwards so that's the good news right and so now we actually rate we we look at companies when they do stuff we now understand that we have choice over whether or not we choose to frequent that company uh whether or not we choose to buy their products we we exert that will all the time and and companies that maybe look on paper similar we're looking at two very sim simple things and one has a different approach to the climate that's better than the other we will take that into consideration